Hello and welcome to some basic troubleshooting tips for your tablet. Um, since we are no longer fixing them, I thought I would make a video and show you guys how to fix it if it were to ever happen to you. So the first one is if you go to start it or turn your tablet on and it won't turn on at all. You keep holding it down and you try the 20 seconds where you hold it down for 20 seconds and it still doesn't come on. And you also plug it in and the amber light by the power on button doesn't come on as well. That's probably a good indicator that your ribbon cable is come undone inside of the tablet. So I'll show you how to fix that. So first let's do this. A um, couple things you're going to need is is uh, we use a very flat pry bar to help open up the tablet but a uh, flathead screwdriver works well um, some uh, either electrical tape or duct tape duct tape works better because it holds on when the tablet gets hot and it'll actually stay on and then some scissors to help cut the duct tape so so what you're going to do is the first time you need to take the tablet apart and with the screen facing to the left get your flathead screwdriver or a pry bar and put it right in the seam kind of work it into the seam and then move it kind of and push it towards the glass you'll hear it pop and then you'll just kind of slowly work through every one of these as they pop loose just like that just keep moving across if we've had to do this to your tablet it'll be a little bit easier but if it's never happened to your tablet, it'll be pretty hard and you'll have to actually pop out every one of these. And you'll turn it on the side and just kind of keep working down. And keep moving down. And there we go. So, let me zoom in here and show you. This is your actual audio cable right here and more it come undone, see? So, to fix that, what we need to do is right here, this little black tab, you want to flip that up. I just used a pry bar, just easy. Just flip it up like that. And then you can kind of set this back in there and slide it in there. And it helps if you have the screwdriver as well to kind of push that audio cable back in there. You know it'll be all the way in there whenever that black line across there, you won't be able to see that anymore. And as you can see, the tablet came on. So now what we'll do is take a little piece of duct tape to help hold it down. like this. I like to cut it again right down the middle and cut it again. Get it just kind of the size you need it. Now I'll set it right in the middle and then I like to take either the screwdriver and kind of press it down all the way around it to help hold it down and secure it and everything like that. like that. So then what we'll do is we will just make sure these stay down. This is the magnetic that helps clip it back together. Just kind of push those back down and those like to pop up. Set this in here. Starting from the bottom. Start working your way all the way around. Just like that. And that is how to fix your tablets if your ribbon cable has come loose. Another thing I wanted to show you was if you cannot connect to the Wi-Fi or the internet is not working. Um, what we have had you do and what we was telling everybody to go down here and right click and hit troubleshoot problems, which worked most of the time but not all the time so we had to work around and get into the admin side and fix it. But what you can do now is just go down here instead of hitting troubleshoot problems you'll hit open network and sharing center 
when that opens you'll go over here and hit change adapter settings and then right click on the Wi-Fi and hit disable wait about three to five seconds to let it fully disable and then right click it and re-enable it and when that enables your connections should pop up over here and you should be able to connect just like that and then you should be connected to the internet and you should have everything working fully so just wanted to show you that quick tip in case that were to ever happen to you. Thanks.